Connell Truman, give us your reaction to having signed on a season-long loan from Birmingham City for AFC Wimbledon. Uh, yeah, obviously I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to have to got this deal. I was excited and was keen to get the deal done. So, you know, it's a very positive time to be, be at the club. Anything I've heard about the club has been, been, been positive. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to get going now. How did it come about and how did you become aware of Wimbledon's interest? I think there's been maybe a couple of inquiries, but this time around I just I got the call from my agent. Um, I can't remember when it was. Um, just saying that there was, you know, potentially a bit of interest there. Um and then it just sort of snowballed. I was obviously I gave him, you know, the thumbs up that I wanted to get it done, um, and was keen for it to go ahead. So from then on, it was just a matter of sort of trying to get the deal done as quickly as possible. And unfortunately, we were able to do it. It's an exciting new era for the club. We're preparing to move to our new stadium, back at Plough Lane. How much of that was of a real inspiration for you to sign for Wimbledon? Oh yeah, it's massive. Of course, like the everything that goes with Plough Lane um, is, is a massive draw, and then the fact that you actually look at the stadium and you look at the plans, it, it looks like it's going to be a really, really good stadium. So that was definitely a massive pull for me, and I'm looking forward to uh, walk, walking out there and, and doing the business. What else also impressed you in, in your talks with our management? I think it was really positive the whole time, and everyone that I spoke to was really positive. Um, like like we've mentioned about the stadium and then the squad going forward and. I think the last couple of years, as the club's done really well to stay in the division, and, and now it's sort of looking maybe a little bit higher up the league, and we're sort of looking to kick on a bit. And there's just a real positive feel around the club, and you know everyone that speaks to has just got a real good energy about, it and I'm, I'm looking forward to working with them. Have you spoken much with the management so far? Have they said what they want from you? Um, yeah, so I've spoken to the, the gaffer and, and uh, Nick and Bezo and. Uh, Bezo especially obviously as you can imagine being a goalie he's going to be the, the guy that you work with the most and the closest so I've spoken to him a few times and yeah he was just really sort of keen I mean just coming in and, and being myself um, you know there's there's reasons that we, the, like this works for everyone um, and we're looking forward to sort of making it work um, he just wants me to go out there be myself get on the pitch you know make the saves and, and do what we do and then we'll see where that takes us yeah, and from the other angle as well, of course, Birmingham City, what have they said they would? The last couple of years I've done a lot of, of sitting on the bench and not played as much football as I was uh, would have liked. So hopefully that, that's what this loan is all about, is getting that game time and getting that experience. And, and hopefully well, that, that's what we believe will sort of take my game onto the new level. So hopefully if I can you know, earn the manager's trust and, and you know, do the business on the training pitch and get myself on the, on the starting eleven, then that's what this loan is all about. So that's what, that's what we're looking for. You have experienced championship life so far. What have you made of it? Yeah, it was it's cutthroat. It's it's ruthless. That's the sort of be all and end all of it. It was, you know, we got I got in I got in a team at sort of a difficult time, if you will. We had sort of injuries to centre halves and key personnel and just stuff like that. And it's just you just become aware very quickly of how ruthless it is, and you don't necessarily have to make mistakes for your for you to be 2-0 down or something and it, you just have to sort of get on with things and, and you have to learn on the, on the job and learn really quickly so I think that that's stand, standing me in good stead going forward and I'm looking forward to you know using those lessons um, when I play for Wimbledon and, and perform you know to a high level. Mid-20s now you've had a couple of loan spells with a couple of local non-league clubs up there were they positive experiences for you in your development? Yeah definitely I think you know there's there's as with anything in life, you can look at it however you want. And the one with Solly Hall didn't necessarily go as, as perfectly as we were, as I would have planned. But what it did do is enable me to learn a lot in a, sh in a short space of time. And I think if, if I hadn't have had that, even that, sh that short period on loan, then it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been as sort of prepared as I was when I got into the first team at Birmingham. So I think that the loans were different and there were potentially different levels of success, but both very valuable nonetheless. Which coaches and goalkeepers have influenced you in your career so far? Um, I think, you know, the, the, the goalies union, if you like, that we've had over the last couple of years at Birmingham with, with Darrell Flahaven, the coach, and Lee Camp, you know, very se senior and professional number one. You know, we've, we've formed a really close bond and I've learned a lot of both of them, um, both on the pitch and sort of off the pitch in how you conduct yourself and and especially Campy, who as a senior pro was was very, very professional and the, the work rate was exceptional. So I think especially over the last couple of years when I sort of broke into that first team environment, those two have been the, the real sort of big influences on me. 
How important is it now at this stage in your career to be playing regular football at this level? Oh, it's massive. Yeah, it is it's the most important thing. Um, as I've said, I think that is the most important thing for me to kick on to another level. Um, and you can't, you can't replicate it. You can't, you can do as much as you want in training, but nothing beats being out there on a Saturday afternoon, you know, in a proper game. And you learn so much of that that you can't learn in any other environment. So it's, it's massive. It really is important for me. Is it also important as well when you made the decision to, to come to Wimbledon on loan to sort of come to a new area as well? Take yourself perhaps away from where you've been based recently? I think so. I think you know, I've been at Birmingham since I was 11, maybe 12. So it's, it's been you know, a, a long time there. And I've, like I said, the two loans I've had have been local. So I've never sort of had to, you know, up sticks and move. And I think it will be a, a brilliant learning experience for me, you know, sort of get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And I think that's where you do the most growth. So... Yeah, I'm very, really looking forward to sort of moving down there and, and getting stuck in and embracing it wholeheartedly. And of course, someone else who's, who's made the move a couple of seasons ago was very successful. If you, if you know him, Steve Seddon, would you be tapping into his knowledge at all, perhaps? Yeah, well, I'm close with Steve Seddon, to be fair. So as soon as I heard about the interest, I was on the phone to him. Um, I remember when he, I was I was talking to him when he was at Wimbledon and he had nothing but positive things to say about it and it's been very much the, the same since it's come about for me. So uh, as soon as he sort of, you know, he was excited when he heard about it. So I'm looking forward to getting going and I'm sure he'll be keeping an eye on things. And someone else you'll perhaps know from uh, your time with Birmingham City when you finally managed to get into that dressing room. Callum Riley had a very good season with us last season. You're looking forward to linking up with him again? Yeah, of course. Obviously, he was a little bit older than me, but when we, we both obviously came through the, the academy system, so he was someone that, you know, as an older older player that was breaking into the first team, he's someone that you look up to as a young lad. And, you know, obviously it's been a, a few years since then, but I, I still remember, you know, looking up to him and, and his sort of professionalism again and that work rate and, and who he was as a person. So, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll get along well and I'm looking forward to getting, getting amongst it. What would you say your strengths of your game? Um, shot stopping, I think, is is sort of my big one. Um, you know, technically, you know, pretty strong, and then with that, we've got sort of speed and agility and, and sharpness around the goal. So that sort of leads to, you know, hopefully, hopefully, anyway, making those big saves at important times for the club, and and just leading to like big, big important results. So I think that's the, the big one that I, that I sort of, you know, hold my hat on. And you've mentioned Ashley Bays already in conversation. There, you've, you've been speaking with him. How much are you looking forward to working with him? Because he's got a very good track record with young England keepers. Yeah, he's got he's got a brilliant track record, and I think that's a, a massive thing for me. You know, uh, you just have to look at the names that he's worked with in recent years. You know, no more so than Aaron Ramsdale to see what sort of coach he is and and the sort of job that he can do and how he can improve a player and a goalkeeper. So I'm massively looking forward to getting in the building and working with him, and I know it's only going to do good things for me. How's it been for you during uh, the situation everybody finds ourselves in at the moment in terms of the global crisis? Have you been managing to keep yourself fit and so on? Yeah, obviously it's, it's a tough situation for everyone. Um, I must say that, that Birmingham were fantastic throughout the whole period. They they got equipment, gym equipment and, and cardio equipment sent out to, you know, I think everyone in the squad. So they made it easier to sort of stay on top of things. There was, you know, running groups created on Strava, the app to, you know, add that competitive edge. So... You know, the club were very sort of influential in making sure we stayed up for things and, and I think as a group and definitely me, you know, personally was were, was able to do that. And when I went back for the championship restart, I felt in, in real good nick and you know, I felt like I picked up where I left off before the break. And with your new club, AFC Wimbledon, have you been keeping an eye on how the, the new stadium's been developing on social media? Yeah, I have. You, you can't help but have a little look here and there, and I've had a look on the Inst- Instagram and stuff like that, and it, it looks like a really, you know, a top top project, and it's going to be a really good stadium when it when it's done. And I'm looking forward to sort of, you know, for when we can move in there. And the fans with Wimbledon and AFC Wimbledon over the years, they've always had a sort of like a good relationship with so many goalkeepers. You look back, the club president is Dickie Guy, Dave Beston, of course, in '88. You mentioned Aaron Ramsdale there. The fans play a massive role in this club. Have you got a message for them? Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you all. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, you know playing in front of you um, at Plow Lane. It's something that I'm very excited for, and I'm looking forward to hearing you all. And you know, looking looking forward to experiencing you all getting behind us. And you know, I know we'll have a positive a positive season together.
Brilliant. Colonel Truman, welcome to IFC Wimbledon. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here.